So it's about 12 a.m. Just filled up some gas for the van. Gonna be driving to not Yucca Valley, maybe Palm Springs, and I'll be sleeping there for the night. And then heading to Joshua Tree when the day is up. So, yep, excited. So I just did something super stupid. I locked myself out of my van. And now it's super cold. And I'm outside this gas station. There's a camera at least, but yeah. So if I get murdered, it'll be caught on camera. I should be all right. There's some people in there as well, so we're all right. <sighs> the locksmith is gonna be coming in about 40 minutes. So that's gonna be a long wait. Stuck at a Denny's because it's cold. They're nice enough to give me a water. AAA should arrive at 3.35 in the morning, which is about a little over an hour from now. Yeah, that is a lesson learned for sure. Ooh. My truck just saved my ass. <laughs> it's like 4 a.m. in the morning, but we're fucking free. So, after I got back into my car, my van, it was 4 a.m., super tired. I found the nearest Planet Fitness. Thankfully, it was only like seven minutes away. It's right there. And I parked here for the night. It was open 24 hours, but I needed to sleep. So I just took a nap. I'm chilling. Excited for Joshua Tree. There's a Walmart right across the street from the Planet Fitness I was at. I'm gonna go do some shopping. My first day of van life when I was just starting it. I was at a Walmart and eating McDonald's. Now I'm doing the same thing. Got an ice cream cone. It's all coming full circle. I'm a, I wouldn't say I'm an expert van lifer, but I'm experienced enough to get around. All right, we have arrived in the desert, Palm Springs. I don't know if you can tell, it's kind of, it's kind of deserty over here. All right, so we've basically arrived at Joshua Tree. See, I'm in the desert now, mountains back there. I'm watering at Sonics, this is my first time. At Sonics, I heard one of my teachers once said that if you eat Sonics for 30 days straight, for every meal of the day, you'd probably die. So I got a hot dog, and the only other hot dog I have to compare this to is Costco, because I eat a bunch of Costco hot dogs, but not any hot dogs from anywhere else. Maybe five guys. And one has yet to really impress me. Costco is impressive because it's cheap. That's the only reason I get it all the time. But hot dogs are just not as good as burgers. Let's see if this changes my mind. You know what this tastes like? The more I eat, it reminds me of amusement park food, which is like good and really overpriced at amusement parks. This is honestly kind of overpriced as well, but it's kind of good. It's better than Costco. Yo, yo, yo. <laughs> we got the fucking GoPro. Joshua Tree. The desert, this is so cool. Wow, a lot of rocks. It's pretty epic scenery for sure. I feel like I'm in Indiana Jones or something. This is a huge place to explore. Looks good, you got a chicken Alfredo going. So we got ourselves a campground. Here's my van, my home. Big rocks, some rock climbers. This is like the little community. I'm gonna go explore. Imagine if I was like a a caveman, where would I be living? Probably this cave, you know? Not for real, if I was like completely homeless and like alive 200 years ago, this is where I'd be living. I just move these rocks out of the way, get a little mat, and then I have a fucking shelter. It's free, I don't have to pay rent. 
Let's go to the bathroom, like, over there. And I'll shower. Well, I don't think homeless people can shower, to be honest. So, yeah. I just smell. Alright, first night sleeping in Joshua Tree. I was lucky to get a campsite. Uh, I found some, some guys who had an extra parking spot. And I'm wearing my oversized hoodie. Because it's fucking cold in here. And I'm going to go to sleep. Yep, good night. That's up. Right in the middle of the screen, that's my van over there. The one to the left middle with the high roof. That's my van. It's pretty cool. See those little gates? Those, I believe, are the mines. I'm at Black, that's it, Queen Desert Mine, yeah. There's some over there. Yeah, they're closed off, so I'm not allowed to go inside, but I gotta do. So, let's see if I can find a way there. Found one. Apparently, there's bats inside and stuff. Oh, well, that's spooky. That's actually legitimately kind of spooky inside. There's like creatures living in there, but I can't go inside. Or can I? <laughs> nah, fuck that. Alright, that was fun. I'm gonna head up. This is like a canyon, huh? This is fucking cool. I want to keep going, but... I don't know. I think I'm gonna call it. Or else I might legitimately get lost. Alright, that was fun. Peace. so majestic what the fuck it's like literally what heaven looks like god damn all right we're in the north joshua tree blm as you can see it's freaking pitch black outside there's only some other uh there's some other campers as well but it's insanely quiet besides the wind and kind of getting spooked you know not much to do not much to explore just like hunker down It'd be really cozy if I had a girlfriend, but I don't. So it's might as well just fall asleep and watch some uh, mo watch a movie and fall asleep. So yeah, I'm trying to sleep, but it's so windy outside, and it's slowly kind of spooky. But I don't know. There's no one around me, so I should be all right. It's so windy outside. It's like 12 in the morning. I'm gonna put on the emergency brakes on the van for the first time because like, what the fuck? I'm tripping, bro. This gust isn't gonna blow my car away, right? Yesterday, it was those majestic clouds and now it's a rainbow. Bro, it didn't even rain yesterday. What's going on? Why is this place so fucking beautiful? This is crazy. So I just realized that I didn't really film a proper conclusion when I was still doing the whole van trip, but I ended up driving through those rainbow arches, which was really cool. It's almost like the perfect possible exit out of Joshua Tree. It was really 
hard to describe, but I felt like I was just meant to leave perfectly at this time. And it was it was a really good feeling. I would say throughout this whole trip, I did soul searching without the intention of trying to do soul searching. It just kind of happened, you know, it almost like aligned in a way where like other things happened in my life, but I ended up living in a van for 30 days almost and going camping by myself and just, I don't know, just discovering a new part of myself that I didn't know before because I've never been in that scenario. So yeah, uh, some advice I would offer you guys is to put yourself in as many situations as you can and really study how you were like feeling or how you were doing during that time and that will give you more wisdom i hope i said that right hopefully that made sense and uh good luck to everyone i wish you all the best and yeah we'll see where i go from here